Yo, what's up? What's up? Namaste. Welcome to my channel. I am Sharif Sharu. I'm a yogi and I practice yoga, right? So, okay. <laughs> so I want to make this video to literally tell you that many people nowadays, they actually have a lot of insecurities, right? And um, the way this plays out is they actually put up a mask. They put up a whole character. They put up a whole... Um, a whole type of uh, filter over themselves because they are unwilling um, to go within themselves and truly be themselves, right? But essentially, we're always being ourselves. It's just we have a bunch of um, stuff over that, a bunch of masks. I realized this when I was... Um, hanging around a lot of people who really ain't shit who really weren't about anything they really didn't have anything going on for them for them to be acting the way they did but you know people literally do it because it's like that right it's like you know you get this type of a a, a boost of um a boost of self actualization a, a boost of self importance when in reality is kind of artificial. Let me explain. Because there is a self-importance based on ego. And then there's a self-importance based on the universe. Right? When you know the universe got your back, the way you walk is going to change. When you know you're divinely protected by all of your ancestors, you walk different. You eat different, you sleep different, you feel different. <laughs> I'm telling this from experience, man. We may think that this is it, but as this world is going, there's a whole spiritual dimension that is literally simultaneously existing in its own way. The amount of times I've been let down by people is pretty um, devastatingly sad because I trust easily. But, you know, people literally are going to take advantage of that because many people don't understand the value of um, the value of having integrity. Say, for example, I say, I'm going to meet you at um, 3 o'clock and I decide to I decide not to meet you, right? And I don't even decide to tell you. That is literally non integrity You're not really being who you are trying to be, right? You're, you're telling your mind something. You're telling the world something. You're telling the universe something, but you're doing another thing, right? So understand that it's just, it's, it's very simple when it comes to what you want and how you manifest it. You manifest it by you being integrated to everything you say. So if you say something, do it. Don't, don't um, go back and forth. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. Don't go back and forth with that. And if you're in between something, understand that you're in between something and make the most intelligent choice. But don't go against your own innate intelligence to function and make the right decisions based on off of wholesome oneness and truth and you being in reality, right? Many people are so out of reality. When they see a person who's in their reality, they are literally threatened. They are threatened. It scares them because... We are literally creating a different um, vibration on the planet, right? Even religion um, is literally amazing. Like many religions I practiced <laughs> um, didn't really help me much. But when I went to my own religion, <laughs> I, I, I actually fell in love, bro. I fell in love. But it's nothing like what um, you're taught, right? <laughs> In Hinduism, there are so many paths. There's so many ways to reach God. God can be a female with a 
with a bunch of weapons. God can be a male with a discus. God can be a monkey. God can be... It, even in Hinduism, let me tell you a little secret before I end this video yet. In Hinduism, you can literally create your own deity. You can create your own deity and bring it to life through your through your worship of it. That's how beautiful it is. We understood the concept of imagination and we understood the concept of different lokas and realms. Because you must know that when I say Vaikuntha or Kailasha, they're not literal places in that sense, but they are very real. If you meditate enough, you can actually astral project to that location and and um almost get downloads from that location like you know information that you may have needed in this um life that you were living you know so it's like sometimes you just know the answer you just know what you need to do and you didn't know it before you know you didn't know how to think like that you didn't know how to see that um thing the way you are seeing it but now you do see it the way you see it and it's pretty effortless because you were in touch with that higher space that higher um dimension right so that's all just take care of yourself really at this time you shouldn't really be worried about um, money you shouldn't really be worried about anything you should be truly truly worried about the one thing that is you right I am in no way saying money is not important. It has its place. But understand that you can't make money with a sick mind. You can't make money and even and even enjoy it with a constipated system, body, right? It's like you have to have a strong enough body to even enjoy what you're eating, right? So that's it people um, thank you for watching all of my videos thank you for liking subscribing and commenting if you have something to say when I started practicing yoga my life literally changed and um, initially it was a physical practice for sure then slowly I just started seeing that things were just becoming so much more um, um so much more transparent. I started actually having a, a deeper connection with what I was thinking, feeling, and, 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 and being. I, I found me, you know, I found me in a whole different way that I never knew even was possible, right? Because I was never taught yoga as a kid. I was never taught meditation and all these Eastern Hindu sciences. I was not taught this. But, you know, life happened and yeah I was it was meant to be I was meant to fall in love I was meant to discover this path and it was meant to save me because the way I was going in life was pretty um man I was a completely different person I was I was your average person who literally had anger issues, had a lot of lust, that was literally uncontrolled, had no sense of self, but had a whole huge ego, inflated ass ego. Now my ego is different. It's not in the same vibration. So it's like, I can get angry, but I'm not really going to get angry. It's just to neutralize or change the situation, right? I don't really get angry like that. I mean, I get angry, but it's mainly because I, I feel that my reality cannot change. You feel me? It's like if you know that something is not going to change, you kind of get pissed off about it. And that just becomes a snowball down to becoming something bigger. And yeah, you know, if you can't help someone who doesn't want to be helped, just let them be. Let them be. Let them live their life. Let them learn. 